We'll be heading southeast past the Forest of Sorrow towards Nile's base. That's where the saint is. His. What's wrong, Ruka? Seeing Hartman and Spada reunite made me wonder whether my mom and dad are worrying about me. Of course they are. You ran away from home, after all. I suppose I did. How about you, Ilya? Have you ever wanted to go back home? Never. I told myself I'm never going back. We'll see how long that lasts. I won't let anyone suffer because of my past life. I'm gonna walk my own path, myself. I won't let anyone use me either. The uh, Genesis. Ha, I'll never give up. We'll get it before Machias does. We'll end up getting chased by both the army and the church, you know. Can we even handle it? And those we met that remembered our past lives were all enemies. Come on, let you go home. I can't go back, even if I want to. I can't. Sorry, I'm really sorry I got you involved in this. I didn't intend to trouble you like this. It's just as you said, Ruka. We'll be running away from the army and the church. You'll get captured even when you try to go home anyway, so why don't you just hang around a little longer? So I'll just end up being caught even if I do go back, huh? No doubt about it. They know who we are after all. They must be monitoring our homes at this very moment. I'm not worried about your family, Spada. Nah, I bet they're happy they finally got rid of me. Besides, I don't really get along with my dad and siblings. But you know, Ruka, you're fine to go home if you want. Leave Ilya to me. It's not just that, though, right? Why'd you come with us? Like I said, you two are my friends. I don't need a reason. I just came with you guys because I believe it's the right thing to do. Oh, how very wild on the four of you. Righteously tread the path of justice is one of the five codes of knighthood. Sorry, Yulia. No, I'm sorry. Take care of yourself. That's wrong. I'm not gonna go back. I'll go with you two. Really? Are you really okay with this? I was just happy that I was able to tag along with you two. I was a Sura that I was able to make friends. The thought of it just makes me happy, but... From now on, it's different. I'm not just tagging along with you. I'm gonna walk alongside you guys. You idiot. What the hell are you saying? You're just a goody two-shoes. You're really an idiot. You're nothing but a dummy. Ruka, you dummy. Idiot. Dummy. I haven't been called those before, so I'm a bit shocked. But that's fine. After all, I worried about something so simple and I even made you sad. That's why, Elia. Please don't cry anymore. I'm not crying. These are just, you know, sweat in my eyes. That's all. Idiot. You dummy. Come on, let's go, you dummy. Right then, all good here. Yep. Sorry I made you worry, Spada. It's fine. Besides, this means we've managed to gather three people that we share memories with. You know, I think there's some kind of meaning to this. Some kind of meaning. <laughs> Why am I in this world right now, at this time, at this place? Why was I born? And what meaning does that reason hold? The answer to that is in... Huh? After this, you better see this through to the end. You'll walk alongside us, right? I won't let you wuss out of this journey halfway. You got that, Ruka? Of course I do. Now let's go to the southeast. I got dummy Ruka. Oh, Elia. Classic Sendere. She's so much like a Rudy from Tales of Destiny. Both in combat and her personality. Oh, that Ruka's said some fine words. He sure showed me who the man is. At any rate, that's just a one-time thing. Oda agrees that Ruka's supposed to be a coward, though. Coward? Heck nah. Takes a lot of courage to say something like that, you know. That's... You know that string bean that is giving it is all for you, right? Ain't it wrong for to treat him that way? Spada's right, Yulia. You shouldn't treat him that way, though. I know that. I'm just saying, you know, that's so, then that's fine. That's fine, though. Who does he think he is, acting like he knows Ruka? Ruka's been together with me longer than him. Oh, Yulia. And skits are great. Tales of would not be as great as it is without skits. Sup, losers. Back to your average Tales of gameplay. In case you forgot, this is a Tales game. <laughs> What's wrong, you dummy? You look kinda pale. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking that Spot is really scary. That's true, Ruka. Spot is a delinquent, though. Sheesh, at any rate, maybe he just acts that way because that's just how he is. No, that's wrong. He's not scary that way. It's because he has a strong sense of responsibility. That guy. Yeah, that guy. People with a strong sense of responsibility are the type to expect the same things from their companions. Spada will never acknowledge someone irresponsible as a man. Is that so? Talk about men? What? I'm sure you get it, Elia. Spada's the type to live for his allies. 
That's why he will never forgive anyone that tries to harm his friends. In exchange, he really is reliable. Oh, that might be the case. Anyways, my point is that Spada will only show that side of himself to his friends. Now I'll look forward to that. Toto will too, though. How passionate. Boys will be boys. The bonds have strengthened. Oh, Ely and I. Your hometown's in the southwest, right? Well, yeah. I read about it in a book. It's filled with tough people who rely on guns to survive the desert, right? Huh? No, we don't. I only read books as a hobby, but there was this novel that had a gunman protagonist set in the southwest. Wild Arms? And thanks to that book, you have a prej- Books are really cool, aren't they? Thanks to them, I could talk about a place I've never been to. Hold the hell up. Listen to me. Can you please let me finish speaking? Ah, uh, sorry. I get nervous so often. There are so many times when I can't speak. Yeah. Nervous? What the hell are you talking about, weirdo? I mean, isn't it natural? I'd never talk to someone as cute as you, and she's gone. I wish I could let her know. Yeah, I would love to hear Elia's reaction to you calling her cute. Although I kind of already know what her reaction would be. Also, this sword looks kind of stupid. Is this like a different sword than the one I had equipped? Like, d does the appearance like change? It looks like it did. Hey, let me see this. Oh yeah, great sword. The swords do change. Yeah, broadsword looks so much cooler. This one doesn't like it. Barely has a like a, a sharp point. It's better statistics, so we're just gonna like wear it. We have a little bit of time. We're probably not gonna finish the Forest of Sorrow, but we can at least get started on it. What is this place? My belly button's tingling, though. That means this place is dangerous. When he said Forest of Sorrow, could it be that Forest of Sorrow? What's up with you? You just said it twice. No, to be honest, my brother's unit got annihilated here. Annihilated? This place is famous for the number of people that disappear within, within it. Even the most experienced person can get lost through the fog. On top of that, I heard that the ecosystem and monsters that come out here are alien to this world. But there's no alternate route we could take to the base. Let's get moving. I'm sure we three can make do. Even if the army can get annihilated in this place, they probably won't think about going anywhere near here. Damn right, we can only advance at this point. Now let's go, Ruka. Oh, I did not expect this development. My determination's weakening. A base! About what you said earlier, about the army getting annihilated. Oh, I meant the unit in which one of my older brothers belonged to. Why would the army even make the base near a place like this? Most likely they're probably researching something highly classified. They put the base there so there that no one could just accidentally stumble into a building and find out what's in it. My older brother didn't explain it to me that much, but apparently you could reach the base from Nios by sea. Oh, then what's your brother doing here? Didn't I say? Apparently it's because the ecosystem here is distinctly different from outside. The monsters that appear are near unbeatable. Maybe my brother came here to gather samples to be used against the weapons being developed by the army. I'm impressed. This father sure knows a lot. Cut it out. I'm only repeating what my brother told me. This just made me realize that my family are just a bunch of warmongers. Become a shield for others. In cases where you'll have to protect someone, you're most likely going to have to fight someone else. Yeah, okay. Can't be helped. What the heck? You can enter this? Ronky, welcome to the stream. Endless skits await us. What's this for a game? This is Tales of Innocence R, a Japanese-only Tales of game, part of the Tales of series. It was not officially localized, so I'm playing a fan patch. What the hell? The atmosphere changed. So this is the force's mechanism. Try and keep close to us, Ruka. Yo, Ruka. The enemies are going to be stronger from here on out. Let's cover what they'll be doing now. Enemies will now start using enraged attacks. These enemies... These attacks can't be interrupted normally. There's a way to deal with them. Tell me about enraged attacks. The more you attack an enemy, the more likely they attack you with an enraged attack. 
If you're about to be hit by an enraged attack, press the guard button right before it hits you. Oh, this was in hearts. You'll cancel their attack encounter with your own. This is called a guard counter. It's kind of hard to explain. Let's try it out. Enemies will glow red, lash out with rage, press square. This is like what hearts had. I didn't really use this much in hearts. Oops. I was too late on that. That's a guard attack. It's kind of hard to time though. What the heck are you supposed to time this? There we go. Our timing that's going to be really hard. Square with the right timing to counter the rage attack. I just have to like press it when he glows red. Or is it like when it makes contact with me? I want to like try to get better at this, but it's not going to be easy. Yeah, I'm pressing square as it hits me and nothing's happening. Okay, it's probably something we're not going to be using that much. How about it? You got the hang of it. Okay, yeah, I know how to do it, but timing it's going to be a nightmare. Apple gel. Oh, this music. Why is this music different? You hold my temper strike. Yeah, timing that uh, guard counter thing is not going to be easy. Elia. She's a little behind because she died from that one boss. I think it was Ricardo. Specific to time that I got it like once. I wouldn't be surprised if I rarely use that in the hearts. Hello. I love Tempest Strike. Tempest is always a pog art in the series. This time, <laughs> it's another recipe. They really just make categories for every single recipe in this game. Kind of funny. But can't I just like cook? Do I have to? I have to do it outside of battle, I think. I could try cooking um chocolate bananas with Ruka and see if it goes well. 
It might be possible to cook higher level things, but just not easy. This is easy. What is it about this one dungeon that makes the battle theme different? <laughs> Sounds like Crisis Core is what it sounds like. Sounds just like Crisis Core. Gibbs on the tour this. Oh, dang it. Shouldn't have known that would happen. We probably shouldn't even bother cooking chocolate bananas until we get that level then. The thing is, like, none of these heal TP, though. I guess we're just, like, doing rice balls until we can't anymore, or whatever we can afford. I only afford this. <laughs> and I don't have the level for it. So we're not going to be cooking for a while until we go back to a shop. Don't use items. I can do that. Yo, two times experience is pretty good. This tortoise. No, I want the tortoise game. Leave Ely alone. Go oh, for your experience. Let's go. Love to see it. Thank you, Orange Joe. Um, spiders, you guys have no rights. You don't deserve to be here. I win. We're already level 10 on Ruka. Three green onions. I don't think that gets me like any access to recipe. I can get a save point soon, that'd be swell. But by now, I would have gotten the save point. Swoop around? I don't even know. I'm not gonna use the holy bottle now. You guys can use your will limit. <laughs> Need to see what's this way. I doubt it's a save point. I can hope.
said we didn't cook anything, dang it. Ooh, hello, treasure chest. Maybe this does meet up with that other path. What I really need is a save point. I need a save point, like, right now. <laughs> Don, you dumb tortoise. Yeah, this connects here. Is there a save point this way? Nope, but there's a chest. Thank you, Verbena. Probably, like, never gonna use those until the end. Oh, lemon gel. I can't do guard counters, though. I'm terrible at them. I can't do guard counters. I'm not even given the opportunity, though. Maybe this one. A save point, please. I need one. I cannot get a guard counter to save my life. <laughs> you don't understand, game. Please, I need a save point. I'm dying. I'm just beating up these spiders. Please give me a thank you. That's all I needed. Uh, we can look at, you know what, we had a lot of skits today, so we can look at the style thing really quick. Yeah, you have like 164, I'll give you a... Oh no, I didn't, I didn't want that, I didn't want that. That's not what I wanted. Learn disability. that this I really want I wouldn't I wonder if I should just like save points for this I feel like with Eli I probably should spot I'm gonna give you the CP up I don't think you have magic yet do you let's get base plus do you have arts do you have lightning You've had this the whole time. Let's touch me. Why does it say touch like that? Chain light. Okay. This chest. That way is probably the right way to go. We'll do this last battle before wrapping up. So did I get any new arts? We got Demolishing Thrust. Take out Sonic Shock. I don't like Sonic Shock. I think this is a better move. Okay, yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> so much better than Sonic Shock. It works pretty well with Tempest Strike, too. Got Eli at level 10. Ruka and Spada are getting there. Alright, we'll stop here. Good four hours of Innocence. Really glad to be playing Tales of again. Innocence is pretty fun so far. I look forward to seeing where it goes. But yeah, that'll be it for today from me. We're gonna play more Innocence on Friday because I really want to do more Rebirth tomorrow. So I'll do more Rebirth tomorrow. I'm gonna do Azure on Thursday because we are getting close to the end of that game and I need to finish it. And we'll do more Innocence on Friday. But yeah, those of you watching, hope you all enjoyed. We'll play more Innocence. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all next time.